In this video, I want to talk about the nervous system. So our nervous system is a complex network that coordinates our body's voluntary and involuntary actions and transmits signals between different parts of the body. It is divided into two anatomical divisions, the central nervous system, CNS, which consists of the brain and the spinal cord, and the peripheral nervous system, PNS which consists of all the nerves and neurons outside of the central nervous system. Now, if we were to look at the cross section of the spinal cord, we would find there are three types of neurons that are of importance to us. Number one, afferent neurons, which carry signals to the CNS from sensory receptors in peripheral tissues. Number two, efferent neurons that carry signals from the CNS to the effector organs such as muscle, and number three, interneurons, which are located in between afferent and efferent neurons and integrate information that flows between the two. So, for example, if you touch a hot object, sensory receptors located in your fingers would immediately initiate a signal that would travel through afferent neurons to the spinal cord, and then from there, a response signal would be initiated and would travel from the spinal cord through efferent neurons to the muscles in your hand, which would result in reflexive withdrawal of the hand. And all this would happen in just a fraction of a millisecond. Now, let's take a closer look at the functions of sympathetic and parasympathetic system. So, I'm going to draw sympathetic division on the left side and parasympathetic division on the right side. But first, let's quickly talk about the types of neurons that we find in both of these divisions. First, we have cholinergic neurons, which use neurotransmitter acetylcholine to send messages. And I'm going to use uh, the red color to draw them. And the second, we have adrenergic neurons, which use neurotransmitters norepinephrine and epinephrine to send messages. And I'm going to use color blue to draw them. Now, let's focus on sympathetic division first. So, sympathetic neurons arise from the thoracic and lumbar regions of the spinal cord. And first, we have preganglionic neurons, which originate directly from the spinal cord. They are short and they release acetylcholine, so they are cholinergic. And they synapse with postganglionic neurons, which are long and release norepinephrine. So they are the adrenergic neurons. And for simplicity and to conserve some space, I'm going to skip drawing sympathetic ganglion, but just keep in mind that there is this chain of synaptic connections of sympathetic neurons that lies alongside the spinal cord. So now let's talk about how sympathetic neurons affect each part or organ of our bodies. So sympathetic nervous system is responsible for fight or flight response and the activation of the system leads to the following dilation of pupils, inhibition of salivation, relaxation of airways, acceleration of the heartbeat, inhibition of digestion, stimulation of glucose release from the liver, inhibition of gallbladder, inhibition of intestines activity, stimulation of adrenal medulla, which results in secretion of epinephrine and norepinephrine, relaxation of urinary bladder, and stimulation of ejaculation or vaginal contraction. And just to clarify, the adrenal medulla is the only autonomic neuroeffector organ which is innervated by one long sympathetic cholinergic neuron. On the other side, we have parasympathetic nervous system, which is responsible for rest and digest response. Parasympathetic neurons arise from cranial nerves 3, 7, 9, and 10, and the sacral region S2 to S4. In contrast to sympathetic division, Parasympathetic preganglionic neurons are long and postganglionic neurons are short, 
and they actually both release a neurotransmitter acetylcholine. So the activity of parasympathetic division would have the opposite effect of sympathetic stimulation and would result in the following. Constriction of pupil, stimulation of salivation, constriction of airways, slowing of the heartbeat, stimulation of digestion, stimulation of glucose uptake, stimulation of intestines activity, stimulation of urinary bladder contraction, and stimulation of erection. Now, I want to briefly talk about the receptors involved in this whole system. So, let's zoom in on the synapse from sympathetic system, and also let's zoom in on the synapse right here from parasympathetic system. So, the receptors on postganglionic neurons within sympathetic and parasympathetic system are all nicotinic receptors. Moreover, the receptors in skeletal muscle are also nicotinic. So, nicotinic receptors are also known as ionotropic receptors. And this is because they simply work as an ion channel. So, for example, when neurotransmitters such as acetylcholine binds to such channel, it causes it to open up, allowing passage of ions such as sodium, which eventually leads to an action potential. On the other hand, all the receptors on the effector organs that are receiving signal from sympathetic neurons are called adrenergic receptors, and the ones that are receiving signal from parasympathetic neurons are called muscarinic receptors. So, for example, if we zoom in at this area right here, where the very ends of these postganglionic neurons meet the smooth muscle cell of the eye, the sympathetic adrenergic neuron would stimulate adrenergic receptors leading to pupil dilation, and the parasympathetic cholinergic neuron would stimulate muscarinic receptors leading to pupil constriction. Now, adrenergic and muscarinic receptors are of type known as metabotropic receptors. And unlike the ionotropic receptors, the metabotropic ones are all linked to G-protein that acts via intracellular second messengers. And this is discussed in more details in pharmacodynamics video, so please check it out. Finally, to put all of this in perspective, remember that most organs are innervated by both sympathetic and parasympathetic neurons. However, usually only one system predominates in controlling any given organ. Overall, autonomic nervous system is very dynamic, constantly shifting from the dominance of one system to another, depending on the situation. And with that, I wanted to thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.